Well, good afternoon once again. Uh, today is a bit of a departure from my usual rotating schedule. Uh, I, uh, my, my friend gave me a special gift, a tomato with lots of mold on it, and I, I was eager to uh, uh, accept the gift and, uh, and uh, examine it. Uh, Mold's always interested me. Uh, I've tried before many times to uh, examine mold, but uh, many times it's frustrating because the f fibers, well, didn't, I couldn't get a good vi uh, visibility on them. But uh, this time I, I used all my, uh, my tricks and uh, I managed to find uh, uh, pretty good images. Um, the the um, what it is is a mass of uh, uh, rather thick uh, fibers uh, that uh, in, invade uh, uh, invade the host, uh, the, the tomato, uh, and uh, they're all tangled up. Uh, when I looked at them, uh, I look at if I look at a sh with a shallow depth of field, I see just you know a few f uh, fibers. Uh, uh, individually recognizable uh, running along the surface, but uh, if I use uh, a, a bigger depth of field, I can see that the whole mass is just a tangle of uh, fibers. Uh, I added some water to the uh, mix in order to uh, thin the fibers out and make them more uh, easy, easier to see. And when I did that, uh, I noticed that in the spaces between the fibers are uh, organisms. I think they're bacteria. Um, uh, there's a, there's spores from the uh, mold, uh, and there there are uh, 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 thing. It looks like it may be organelles from the from the uh, tomato floating in there, but they're moving around because of uh, they're being buffered around by by water molecules. But they also seem to be uh, very small. Um, uh, organisms, uh, the, probably bacteria, that uh, are also uh, moving around. It's it's almost like uh, a um, a kind of a uh, life soup, but uh, I I can't tell how, how many things in it are individual organisms and how many are related to the uh, action of the mold on the tomato. It's a fascinating mix of things. Uh, uh, Take a look.
Thank you.